hello guys and welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna let you guys know right here right now today is gonna be like a vent session so if you are not interested in hearing my vent today then by all means go ahead and click out I'll take my time on this part so y'all can fast forward if you don't need to see this portion right here um and then i'll start talking but this part i'll be trying to stay focused on what i'm doing so give me one second Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of Estee Lauder concealer and I'm going to clean up my brows. The concealer is in the shade 6W. I'm gonna use a little bit of the NYX glue. I think it's like brow glue. Or whatever and I'm going to just apply that into my brows just to make sure they stick or whatever I'm not sure why your brows are need to stick listen I'm going through a lot today okay just let me have my moment and let my explanations be enough for you guys okay just just roll with it today's look I kind of want it to be a little simple but like a little flashy as well I think I'm gonna be working with some browns but yeah, I don't know yet. I don't know. I'm gonna be using this I Seek palette that I bought off of Amazon. I think it might have been like 15 bucks, but it comes with like a whole bunch of different browns and, and different colors in here. I think this will be like a really good palette for like the basic necessities when it comes to eyeshadow because it has so many different options. Um, and they're pretty pigmented as well. Sorry, I gotta itch. Uh, they're pretty pigmented, so yeah. But I'm gonna be using some browns out of here. I don't know which ones. Please do not come from my top today, okay? I'm going through a lot. All right, I'm gonna take a light brown that's in this palette. I'm gonna try to show y'all since there's so many different browns in here. I don't want no problems. Is this one right here? I'm gonna be using that to, you know, just be my little transition color. I am, uh, I'm not I am, but I did put down some Estee Lauder concealer on the rest of my eyelid just to serve as a base y'all know how i feel about bases and since i no longer use the anastasia my concealer will have to be a base i legit don't even know where to start on how bad my week has been and let me just say that if you guys are picking up on my bad vibes right now i'm sorry i'm so sorry it has just been a real hell week for me and i'm gonna explain it to y'all um, and I'm like, I'm really just, really just trying to figure out where to actually start with telling y'all why my week has been such a hell week. So the first thing that happened, I think maybe like, it's just, you know what? A lot of my stress has been coming from my two kids. Like they are just, they just stress me out. I love good peace and quiet. And it's like when you have kids, you'll just never have that peace or that quiet that you so anxiously want um and it's just always arguing and it's arguing about like stupid shit and i totally understand that siblings are going to argue i have siblings now my youngest sibling is like 18 years younger than me so we don't really argue my oldest brother is probably like eight years older than me so again the argument was there but it wasn't i guess as prevalent as it is now in my kids it's like it's just from the time they open up their eyes to the time they go to bed and i'm not even over exaggerating i'm being so serious from the time they wake up they will find something to argue about do we place palette i'm not gonna cut my crease i'm gonna do it a different way i think today i don't know it may or may not work we gonna see so i'm gonna use this color right here and i might go in with like that press of glitter at the very end i'm not sure um i kind of want to go in with that first honestly and truly i just don't know how it's gonna look on my face i am i'm gonna use it i'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go in with the pressed glitter y'all <sighs> pray for me because i got somewhere to go y'all i got somewhere to go so hopefully this comes out cutie patootie i don't know our apartment is not that damn big so anytime they are arguing i constantly hear it and i'll be trying to make sure i stay like alert because i don't want to ever get into the habit of ignoring them to where i don't know what the hell is going on but that just takes a toll on me. So to fix that, we sign their asses up for sports. Cause I'm like, oh no, we not about to keep doing this arguing love. Like we're just not gonna keep doing that. 
You guys are going to have to get into some type of sport and figure it out. You guys need to learn discipline. Having kids is just, it's, it is so stressful. I don't understand how people have kids back to back. How the hell are you having children back to back? Like having my two is, no, I would never, ever be somebody else's parent. Like it's just, it's no fucking way because the stress is just that much. And that's why I also don't understand why parents are like, um, I don't want the stepmother or the stepdad to be around. Hell, I do. What the hell do you, when do you need me to drop them off to you? Because I can't take too much more. Okay, I'm gonna take the darkest purple that's in there and I'm gonna just kinda put this off into my crease a little bit, I guess. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Just kinda doing something today, y'all. Pray for me. It's gonna be kinda simple. But yeah, I don't understand those parents that are like, oh no, my child can't be around such and such and I need to make sure that I meet them girl let my baby daddy come around today and say he got a girlfriend or a wife or something and they want to take the kids please go please take them because it's just it's a lot of stress having children and I think when you do it by yourself like hell no it's not something that I would I would do again absolutely not people be getting upset about um somebody combing a child's hair shit as long as it takes to comb my daughter's hair, like, you want to comb my hair? Be my guest. Please let me know when you need me to drop off so you can comb my hair. I don't have any type of problem with that at all. I'm going to take a little bit of black, and I'm just going to apply this with, like, a little shader brush, like, right here. Just to kind of make that a little bit deeper than what it is. My daughter decides to write in her damn diary that she don't really like her brother, which is understandable. I, I totally get that because you're not always going to like your siblings. I just feel like at the rate that they argue, it just be too fucking much. Sometimes I just need a damn break. And it's never to the point where they feel like they need to go into separate rooms. Even when they in separate rooms, they get sad without each other. Like, I don't understand. I, I don't understand. You guys don't like each other. You don't like being around each other. But then whenever you're separated, you just, you can't handle it. You just can't seem to function. Anyway, she writes in her, her diary that she don't like him. And that just because she says she loves him don't actually mean that she loves him. Like, how hurtful is that? So now he's over here freaking crying. It's just, and you know, my son is the emotional person. I'm going back in with like this little pur purple right here and applying that to um, just give me like a little bit of a, a kick or whatever on the outside. But my son is very emotional. My daughter is not. So, of course, he's crying and stuff. Like, I've just had enough, okay? that That's one thing. Just being a parent is a lot. Um, so, just being overwhelmed with that and the schoolwork and... I'm just, I'm tired. I'm very, very tired. But that's not even everything that has happened this week. This eyeshadow was like super simple. I thought it was going to take longer than that. But ah, look at that. That was super quick, y'all. Y'all just get y'all like a little bit of a press glitter and just move on, okay? I am applying a little bit of the, what is this? The Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. Then like if you guys don't know, I mean, I've said it. I'm so ready to freaking move. I did sign another lease. Um, back in December, so my current lease is not up until this December, but baby, as soon as that, that shit is up, I am moving because I just hate living over here, and now they have it to the point where they're allowing like a whole bunch of college students because the college is kind of like close to where we are, and it's just, it's been some shit every since they've been here. About two or three weeks ago, this is um, just some NYX gel liner. Somebody, one of the little college students hit my car. Um, didn't say anything. And the only reason why I knew was because the motor he has in his car is like super loud. So they had sent out a notice a couple weeks prior and said they were going to be towing. So I work from home. So I happened to look out the window because I thought maybe it might have been like one of the tow trucks. It was him and he was moving away from my car. Um, and then he moved into a different parking spot and at first I was like that's weird and I kept watching him and he got out of his car once he parked in a different parking spot and he looked at the side of my car so I'm like oh this motherfucker hit my car so I go down there to check and sure enough he hit my car for my foundation since I'm about to be out here in the streets today I'm going to use my NARS the new Caledonia um to just you know get me right i go outside and i check my car now there is like a scuff mark on there but i was able to like wipe it off with no problem so i was like okay i'm not really gonna trip on it 
I'm gonna just chill, you know what I'm saying? But he looked at it and didn't say shit. Didn't leave his car insurance information, no, nothing. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So then yesterday, or maybe, no, it was Thursday. Thursday, I freaking um, go outside and I move my car. Now, all day my car is at home, like, because I don't go nowhere saving me in gas like I really don't even go nowhere when I'm off of work so my car doesn't leave anyway um I take my son to get his haircut I'm in the car sitting there all that time while he's getting his haircut so we start to leave and when we get home I park my car and there was like some stuff that I needed to get out of my car that had been sitting there so I walked over to the passenger side and as I'm walking over to the passenger side um I freaking see like the whole front of my car has been hit like somebody hit my car and they left paint on this time on it this time like it wasn't just a scrape like people can't drive I've been over here for probably this would be five five years I've been living here and I've never had that issue it wasn't until they let these little college kids come over here and my new downstairs neighbor which me and her got beef already like she ain't even been here a whole fucking month and i already got beef for her ass i'm gonna use some of my 6w deep or should i use walnut i think i'm gonna use walnut yeah let's use walnut let's use that so i'm gonna use nars walnut to um highlight my face i knew it was my neighbor that hit my car because she was the only one that had been there and when i checked her car it's like a part of it the color paint that's on my car is the color paint that is her car like her color <laughs> the color of her vehicle is the same color and so I knew it was her plus there is like a little area on my on her car that's missing like the paint from where it fucking came off of my car so I'm like do I go and get it fixed because again this is the second time it's been hit in three weeks so I'm like do I go and get it fixed because it's not that big of a deal thank god i have the money and insurance to go and get it fixed if need be but then i'm like i don't want to have to go and fix it again because somebody hit it next week this is the nars circuit de orge circuit i girl i don't know how to pronounce it but i feel like a part of me is like you should at least have the common courtesy to put your insurance like girl the front of my car is scratched like it's cosmetic damage so i know i shouldn't trip off of it but i feel like people don't really understand how hard people work for their shit you know what i'm saying like it's it's not the fact that you hit my car like if you would have just put your insurance information on my car i would have been like okay cool you know no problem but you didn't do that you didn't freaking do that you hit my car and then just decided not to say nothing to me that's what enrages me because the fuck i work hard for my car literally this is my last year paying on this car and it would be paid off so the fact that i've worked so hard to get the things that i have and for somebody just to not give a damn it's it's infuriating i understand god gives his strongest soldiers some of his hardest toughest battles the lord i am tired work has been stressing me out my heart rate has increased like three beats per minute since all of this shit has occurred i haven't been sleeping um i normally go to the gym five days a week I only went three so that's how i know i'm like really really stressed out <sighs> it's just frustrating it's just been a frustrating ass week i'm tired and i need a break i do have a gift card to go to the gaylord uh spa and baby i'm i'm definitely on my way up there to the spa because i can't i can't take no more juvia's place um stick foundation y'all know i always use this one to just contour my face and ooh. then today i get up and i'm like i just want to relax i broke a nail um this morning in the shower washing my hair like it was already cracked but i was like i just want to relax and just you know get some me time in right because my kids are stressing me out work is stressing me out these fucking neighbors are stressing me out everything right i just wanted to get some me time so i decided to go to the nail shop right the same nail shop i've been going to they put the nails on and everything like the same people i've been going to i get up there today and they're like oh we don't have anybody who um, specializes in long nails to help you today I don't know where the hell my sun sprays went, but okay. I'm going to take some elf and just set my face real quick. Mm. 
And this is before I put my powder on just to make sure it's gonna stay in place all day. All right, I'm gonna use my Laura Mercia powder to set under my eyes. Yeah, I go to the nail shop, they told me they ain't got nobody specialized in doing my nails and I'm like, the girl who did them last time is sitting right there, what are you talking about? And he's like, um, oh no, 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 like we don't have nobody. And honestly, I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is because the last couple times I went, I have been doing the, um, what do you call that? The powder and the powder is so much more expensive than the actual acrylic. And so when I told him I didn't want to do the powder because he did ask me that I wanted to powder and I was like, no, I think then he didn't want to do my nails because he knew it was going to come out cheaper, but I'm not trying to pay a hundred dollars for a fill. I have been doing that today. I just wanted my regular damn acrylic. I didn't want no damn um, powder. So he's like, all right, we'll have a seat. We'll see what we can do. Now, mind you, there were people who were also walk-ins who didn't have an appointment coming in after me and they was already sitting down getting their nails done. Again, because they were getting that powder. I'm like, oh, hell no. When I tell y'all I got my stuff and I got up so fast, I was like, I would never. I'm, I'm not about to pay you to, you know, F over me. Using a little bit of the Fenty 445 just to set my whole entire face. And yeah, I'm just gonna sit down and play. But I knew it was just a money grab because every time I was there, it was always a damn issue. Like the last time I went, um, they didn't, like I said, they didn't even want me to freaking do the, um, the regular acrylic, like barely wanted to let the girl do it because they just, they after money. So I wound up finding, a, a nail shop that is closer to my house and so much cheaper like my fill today was only $45 like I said I'm normally used to paying a hundred um for it and I don't even be getting nothing special y'all this, this is my nails like they're super simple they're long but they're super simple like I don't get too much because I don't like too much on my hands the girl did such an amazing job her name is Mindy she did so so good okay I'm gonna use the 460 just to kind of bronze my face a little bit give it more of a bronzy I don't know, look to it, you know, bring a little color back into my skin, shit, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I went to the, the new spot and she was so thorough. I have not had a thorough nail tech in a while. She made sure that she um, filed down my real nails under my nail so it didn't just look crazy because you know your real nail versus the fake nails are two different colors. So she made sure that she did that. She buffed them. Normally what they do now is just use the drill. They don't even do an old school buff. She shaped them. Mindy, Mindy can't, Mindy deal what needed to be done today. I fucks with Mindy, okay? Now to go in and bake, cause y'all know I like to bake. So I'm gonna use um, the Laura Mercier again. And I'm just going to bake right under my eye with that. I'm gonna take it down the size of my nose too, just to make sure that nose contour is uber snatched. And I'm not taking it out, I'm just keeping it right here under my eye. Okay, I feel like I need to brighten up my inner corner, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back into the Juvia's Face Palette. It's between these two colors right here. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, let me see how this one look on the back of my hand though. Oh, that's cute. But I feel like this one, this lighter one might be what I need in my life. It's gonna give me the right amount of sparkle. This that I have on down here is the Makeup Revolution setting powder. It's in the shade Topaz. I'm not really sure if they make this anymore. I think I'm gonna use that first one, that Unafraid color, I think. Yeah, it gives me like a dark, dark highlight in there. I like that. Look at me using a whole face with Juvia's. Go ahead, Ari. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna use Juvia's for my blush. Y'all know I kind of like these little orange colors in here as my blush. Um, and I feel like just orange will kind of set this off today. So that's what I'm going to use. And I'm applying this while my uh, setting powder is on because I feel like it's just a helpful guide as to how high I need to take my blush up. For me it is, it may not be for you, but for me, it just helps. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our lips. I did go ahead and do my hair cause I was like, yeah, I don't have time. Um, but yeah, we're gonna move on to the easiest part which is our lips, super simple. I'm gonna be using MAC Cork today. I am going to apply like a little bit of powder to my lips, my lips are dry. And we're just gonna, 
you know, filling our lip. I like to use the cork first because even though it is pretty um, light, it just, when you mix this with the darker shade LA Girl, it just looks amazing. I don't know how to explain it, but it is. It's just bomb. And you know what? I think I'm done baking, so I'm going to go ahead and just blend this out. I kind of dip into this just to kind of soften that powder a little bit, and then I begin to blend out. Not blending too much because I still want it to remain bright. Okay, so now that we have our lip liner, um, I'm gonna go back in with the LA Girl, like I said, going in with cork first and then going in with this just kind of softens it, I guess, the brown, in my opinion. And I just love it. I'm gonna use my Milani today, my lip, I think it's like a, I don't know, a matte lipstick, and it's in the shade Lavish. And I just use a little bit. I have no idea what the hell my kids are doing. I think they're tearing up some shit now. We got a birthday party to go to today. Going to a birthday party. Like with so many sets of friends, I feel like I'm always out in these streets. Somebody's always inviting me to something. And hell, I be needing it because y'all heard the type of week I had. Like, it's ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna add just a smidget of um, my NYX fortune cookie. I say a smidget and then I go in like extra crazy so all right guys so here we are this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed the video I know I didn't really get a chance to talk about too much today it's just because I'm having a shitty ass week so hopefully it gets better um next week and I will do a check-in next week to let you know how everything is going. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.